in phase 1A, in week one of our program, from an acceleration standpoint, on Monday and Tuesday, we're talking about arm action. Now, in the first week, we are setting a baseline, so we're doing some testing, some analysis, some assessing with your son or daughter, your athlete, to being able to understand where they are at right now from a movement profile, to also set the stage for what they need to be working on throughout the 12 weeks, but also when we reassess at week six and week 12, we can get a good perspective of where they've come from in the program. So as it relates back to the skill that we're introducing, we're introducing principle number one, and that's arm action. We see a ton of athletes struggling with this specific skill only on the basis that they've never been taught it. Usually in a track and field setting, they really go over the arm action, but not from a field or court uh, sport uh, standpoint. So let's just uh, review so you know exactly how to and what to look for for your athlete. So the principle of arm action is all about where to start and end. So we start typically at our chest, not necessarily touching the chest, but in line with the chest, with the palm open and thumb up. We move down and back, not coming across, but down and back through that hip pocket to clear the hips. And this is where the magic happens. From the hip to clearing it or getting behind there with the elbow staying bent and working from the shoulder. If you look at any photo of the fastest human beings on earth in their perspective stride, you will always find that same principle, that hand working to clear the hips behind there where they're actually going to get the most what we call hip extension, the most power which is really going to allow them to accelerate. So if you see your son or daughter, if you see your athlete not clearing the hips, they're stopping at the hips, they're coming across, they're doing some swim action or whatever sort of compensation, you can gently remind them, and please do that gently, gently remind them to work to clear the hips as that's the most important piece. So all of our exercises in week one and in week two are gonna be all built upon that principle. Chest to clear the hips, hands open, thumbs high, elbows bent, working straight through that hip pocket.